sounds a bit loud, but it's good to be back in this short vacation. And uh, nice to, to be here to celebrate with you on this feast of St. Bonaventure. Let's begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And as we begin our celebration together, let's pause and call to mind our sins and God's willingness to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You come to us in word and in sacrament. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the Father's right hand one day to welcome us home. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Many God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop Saint Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the author in honor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, my rock in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I send him, and against a people under my wrath I order him to seize plunder, carry off loot, and track them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, by my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am true. I have moved the boundaries of peoples, their treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant I have put down the enthroned. My hand has sieged like a nest, the riches of nations, as one takes eggs left alone. So I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing, or opened a mouth, or chirped. Who the axe bones against him who heals with it? Who the soul exhort itself above him who wills it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it or a staff him who is not good. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory, there will be kindling, like the kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord will not abandon his people, the Lord, the Lord will not abandon his, his people. Your people, O Lord, they tremble down. Your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay. The fatherless they murder. The Lord will not abandon his people. And they say, The Lord sees not. The God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you sinless ones among the people. And you fools, when will you be wise? The Lord will not abandon his people. Shall he who shake the ear not hear, or he who form the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise, he who teaches men knowledge? The Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance, but judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
blessed us are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. Attention to the child, like we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the baptized may hear the wisdom of the least, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the little ones of the earth may die in the hands of the powerful, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That earth's people may seek the wisdom of the gospel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the gracious will of God may bring comfort and healing to the sick, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become childlike before our heavenly teacher, we pray. We pray today for Sherry Tate and for her intentions, that the Lord will bless her in her life, and the Lord will continue to watch over us, helping us to be childlike in our trust in Him, we pray. That the dead, particularly those who mention now by name, And they live forever in the light of God's wisdom, we pray. Let's pray together for vocations as we say the last love prayer. God, our Father, we give you thanks for calling us to embrace the gift of life and to share it. As once through Jesus the Christ, you chose the first disciples to proclaim the good news, 
and pour out your spirit upon the church, renew us now in our vocation and our mission of reconciliation. Let the same call echo in the hearts of many young persons, that they may generously respond to the needs of our brothers and sisters, after the example of Mary, the beautiful lady of Roselet. Inspire many women of our time the desire to be light and salt to the church and the world. Amen. Blessed be Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Yes, that we got for us. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who will humble himself to share of our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Let the spirit of your husband accept you, Lord, may I sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. And wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity, and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, on this feast of blessed Bonaventure that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblation may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have the need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise adds nothing to your greatness, but profits us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Faithfully, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples as he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples as he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. That as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the homes of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with John, our Bishop, with all the clergy. 
You also, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the sweetest man in form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let the new come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer to one another some sign of the Lord's peace.
Let us pray. Renewed by these sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.